Headphones. David Bowie. <laughs> Couldn't get my headphones on. I had a terrible moment at the end of that. Very unprofessional. <laughs> Thought I was going to be tangled in my headphones and we need to get the fire brigade in. <laughs> hey, Jessica Stevenson is with us. How lovely to have Jessica back on the start. It's lovely to see you, Jessica. Thank you very much. It's lovely to be here. Well, Jordan. you look well. Have you been on the sunbed or you've been away no, somewhere or something? I went to Cornwall actually last weekend. That went surfing. And went surfing. And we've had lovely weather this time of year. Yeah, we have. Although it was, it was gales and thunderstorms. Oh, well, then complaining. Yeah. Come straight But then the sunny, sunny, sunny during the day. How was the surfing? Can you surf? Yeah, I managed to get up on the board. Wow, I've I never managed up. that. Congratulations. But it was great. There's great lessons down in Senon. But isn't that a bit too nippy, the sea there, to be surfing in? Well, I've got a, a, a wore a wetsuit. Yeah, but that doesn't really make you warm, though, does it? It's still cold when you climb in. Do you, My feet you, were quite freezing, but I was having so much fun, it didn't matter. You warm the suit up yourself, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, OK, yeah. we won't go into that, but I, yeah. I understand there are certain techniques. I weed in it. I yo! <laughs> 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 you know, sometimes when it's cold in the studio, yeah, <laughs> we, we do that here. <laughs> I know for a fact Steve Wright does it. Um, so, so now, but is this something you're going to keep up with the surfing, or is it just a, just a holiday thing? So you're going to try and do it again? I would definitely do it at least once more in my life. No, yeah. I would. I'd like to do it again, but have it's you, quite far, it's quite far to go. But it actually, it was actually wasn't bad as a journey. But what about, I'd love to do it again. Have you tried bungee jumping? Wouldn't do that. I wouldn't Parachuting? Do that. No, wouldn't uh, do that. Uh, hang gliding? No, I wouldn't do I'd that. I'd love to go hang gliding. Would I'm, you? Would you? It's, yeah. It seems quite. It seems quite. Seems quite dangerous. I think it's a very easy fun. way to die. Yeah, I'd quite like to go in one of those um, those air wind things. So it, that seems very safe. You know those. It's, it's kind of it's something what, that people train. No, you know, oh, like a wind you know, tunnel. Like a wind tunnel. Yeah. But you it, go it, in a wind tunnel. Up, it's That's like a huge cars. You go in sort on. of hairdryer facing oh, yeah. upwards, and you I get on top of it, mean. and it keeps yeah. you up in the air. But and I'm not saying about you, but you've got to be under a certain weight to do that. And I'm not saying you're not. You are, but, but I've looked into it myself, and I thought I'm bored. I'm, I'm, I'm borderline. Yeah, I'm borderline yeah. right now. I don't think they've got a suit big enough for me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrible? You turn up and they go, "Yep, everyone's going, going, going." You're not, obviously. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, you know about the weight. But... No, I, I'm just brought the kids along. Of course, I'm not going. <laughs> uh, but they do that. I know they do that in Las Vegas. I know there's a place in Las Vegas. So I did look into that. Was it? And then you can. Oh. It's like you're free falling, oh. but you're only six feet above the that's, ground. That's me. <laughs> that suits me down to the ground. Yeah. Um, well, so we've established that you're an adventurous person, but with sensible parameters. Yeah, that, which is quite good, which is mm. ideal. I were, feel. You, were you always that way, or is that since uh, since the uh, the blessing of motherhood has come? The blessing that way? of motherhood has made me much more cautious. Yes, of course. Just instinctively, I used to be quite a kind of high wall walker, fairground rider, right. and you know, quite habitually sort of to the point of sort of feeling sick. But now I'm just not. I just can't. I can't do all that. How nonsense. long have you been? How long have you had children now? And when was it? Was that three years? Nearly eight years. Eight, no, eight years. Nearly eight years. Wow. Uh, because I remember bumping into you pregnant once. Yes. Uh, and was that, that must have been your second child then? I think that might have been my second one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I assumed it was your first. I'm I sorry, started so. quite young. So you have two babies? I have three babies. Three babies. That's a proper yeah. set. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Will that be it for you? Are you going to have any more? I've no idea. Okay. So you're still open to the offer? I'm still open to the oh, offer. Okay. Not yours. No, but well, you know. You say that, but I think there was, uh, <laughs> you know, when we started talking about skydiving together. <laughs> um, <laughs> when were you? So you're with, and this is all with one partner, yeah? yes. Okay. Yes. When did you first get together with this gentleman? How long? A long time ago. Okay. I was eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Mm. So eighteen. So really, you never really had a wild period of. Um, um no, but I mean, you know, but you know, when we were younger, we sort of the... did all that kind of, you know, breaking up nonsense and all of that kind of. So thing. you broke so up with him, and then you had break, and then when you're on a break, you yeah, were allowed to go out and depressed. sample yeah, other men. Yeah, but I didn't because okay. I was just moping about, going, See, oh, that's the I still him. love him. Oh. So he, wa- he wanted the break, not you. Well, I'm not going to go. I'm not going <laughs> to. That's enough now. Well, he did. That's enough. All right. So he went on a break, and you didn't enjoy it. So he went out and had loads of fun. I'm not telling you. Yeah, I'm a bit fun. Have said, fun. Look, I can knock her up any day. <laughs> There's a whole world of All women right, out there. So yeah, that's okay. the sad truth. No, I tell you what, I was curious about is I was just wondering whether women, in the same way that sometimes men do, whether they look back and regret whether they should have had a longer period of. And I'm not talking about myself because I don't, but I, I know some people do. They think, oh, I wish I'd spent more time living and yeah, experiencing life as a single person. I think I did take life very person. seriously. I think I could have taken life a little less seriously. You could have had more fun. Definitely perhaps. could yeah. have had. Could have could have been a slight. Like, I could have lightened up a bit. Well, and why were you serious? Do you think you were serious in terms of what you wanted to do with your life or you were just serious by your nature? Serious by my nature and serious about what I wanted to do. I think I felt that I kind of, you know, had to kind of get it all right all at once. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't, I, I couldn't um, <clears throat> you know, muck anything up. But you know, here's do the big I mean? thing, because on the one hand, I think, you know, I think, well, yeah, I can understand it would have been nice, because I kind of feel like I should have been a bit wilder. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you see people and you think, OK, you know, we got lucky, really, that you, you found out what you wanted to do and yeah. it's worked out for you. Yeah. 
Um, but a lot of people, they turn around and one minute they're 19, then they're 20, then they're 23, 24, and they're still, I'm still a kid. Next and they're 25. They're 28, and you think, you can't really say I'm still a youngster anymore. No. I was having this debate with my wife the other day. We were talking about some friends of ours who will remain nameless because she'd be panicking at home now. They'll know saying, who they are. I'm saying he can't, he can't really still say he's a kid anymore. No. He really, he should have kids now mm. at 47. Yeah, <laughs> John. Um, but no, yeah. <laughs> okay, well we've we've rambled on here. Oh, we got very intense, then, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we? That's you see, that's it. Lighten oh, up, Jonathan. Oh, Come surfing, Suddenly, you know. This is like relax. a whole new show. It's like on the psychiatrist's <laughs> couch with Ross. <laughs> Um, but you see, Je- Jessica's quite excited about being with us. Look at all the body language there. Well, I am, the way I'm she's got her legs firmly lately. crossed I'm and her hands lately. in front of her body there. You can see how relaxed <laughs> she is okay, to be going I'm into this. I'm playing with my hair, <laughs> is that, actually, is that listeners. Flirty? Well, no, it's... It, it's, it's, it's <laughs> because your hair's a bit of a mess. Hers, a, hair's, hers a bit of a mess, yeah. Uh, all right, Jessica Stevenson it has a new DVD release out. Um, I'm sure... You, well, I mean, you've been in so many fine projects over the years. I mean, I loved you in space. I love. I, I like that thing you did, the General Pinochet thing you did on TV. Oh, did you like that? With, it was good, was wasn't it? it? Who was, who was Pinochet that? Was it Ian Jacoby? It was David Jacoby. Ian, ja- David Jacoby. I- Ian Jake and Jacoby. One of those old actors. Ian McKellen Jacoby. <laughs> yeah, it was um, Caligula. Whatever his name was. <laughs> I Claudius. Uh, that was great, though. I really enjoyed that. Mm. And it was, a, I would have thought, a nice part for you because it actually had a character who, who, who went on a journey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, it was a good part, actually. Um, it was kind of quite sort of understated. I didn't have to sort of do too much do too much proper for it, but it but set proper acting and of course it was a, a, a tremendous thrill to work, be working with Jared Jacobi who's a brilliant actor so it was a real and a lovely man and a lovely man alright well Confetti is the new DVD that's out now it was a, a movie and it did it did pretty well for, for a fairly low budget British movie this was yeah. something of a hit over here wasn't it I believe yeah, I, mean, I think it was alright I think it did about 2 million which I think is an average for a British comedy right. I think they expected it to do more but it's been released out in Canada my aunt, my aunt lives in Canada right. she went to see it and she said there were three um, her and my uncle went to see it she said there were three people in the cinema including them. But in Canada, but that's a huge hit. That is a massive hit, because there are actually only six people in the whole of Canada yeah. anyway. Yeah, that's so. half the population that we can see in the film. Um, I enjoyed it. I want to see it with the kids. I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought, I thought the mm. cast, to be honest with you, were better mm. than the movie. Mm. You know, there were moments in it. I thought it didn't necessarily work as well as the film as it should have, but, mm. but you are always enjoy it. And you're with Martin Freeman, and that's a lovely relationship on screen there. Oh, it was so... I had so much... I, I think I started to irritate him after a while, <laughs> as I think can sometimes happen. <laughs> <laughs> I really did start to get on his nerves. But yeah. I, I actually... H- hang on, I, I'm going to interrupt. You get my nerves. Uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> you're rambling, I'll be honest with you. Can I, be, I feel I know you enough. Let's cut the news and we'll, we'll explain to her what she should be saying on the show. 88 to 91 FM, this is Radio 2 from the BBC. Right, OK, well, that's, that's for anyone called Jane out there. Yeah. OK, it's specifically for uh, my wife, Jane, but it's also for... My mum, Jane. Happy birthday, mum. Now, she's quite a hip mum if she likes Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is quite a She's at 80, what did you say she was? <laughs> she told you to say, after watching your show last night, that she's got bigger tits than... Whoa, Lily Allen's, hang on there. ...than Lily okay. Allen's mum. <laughs> I think um, Breasties would have been better this time. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Your mother I'm might so now sorry. feel you've let yourself Th- down a bit. Those words, not mine, Jonathan. I love the idea. I would like to establish the, uh, as a precedent that what? matronly ladies up and down the country <laughs> should see me as some kind of arbiter <laughs> of breast quality, and that wherever I go, I'm in a restaurant... Sorry, we know you're with your family, but do you mind? Okay, I'll be back in. I've just got to go and judge something. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the scales? Um, all right, Jessica Stevenson with us. Uh, it's always charming company, and she's out here, basically. She's dragged herself out of bed on a Saturday morning to uh, talk about Confetti, which is the new DVD of the uh, British comedy movie that came out last year. Mm-hmm. Was it last year or earlier this year? I, can't, I think it was earlier this year. I think it was it? early this year, yeah. Uh, it's got a great cast in there with you. Uh, the, I mean, the, the idea... Well, first of all, tell us the idea behind the film, and then we'll talk a bit about how it was made. It's a wedding competition. There were three couples who um, are trying to win a 500 thousand pound house and they've got to think think of a wedding that's the most original so there's a musical wedding a nudist wedding and a tennis wedding and we follow the story of these three couples as they head towards their happy day yeah and the stress and tribulations that the planning <clears throat> and the competition looming over them yeah. uh, provides as well. Yeah. Uh, you're in the you, you got kind of lucky <laughs> in your wedding choice, and I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming this was you know uh, in advance of signing the contract. You made sure that you weren't in the nudist uh, setup. Well, no, I mean I basically kind of she 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 basically always had said no, that she, she Debbie, wanted me, Debbie, Debbie Isaac, Isaac the, the, director, the, yeah. the director, had always said um, that she wanted me to be in the musical wedding couple. But you know, had she offered me the nudist, maybe I would have done it. I don't know. I, it's just not something I'd considered. <coughs> but I don't know because. I think it very, it works very well. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, but we have uh, but the reason why I'm asking because not, not not that um, it wouldn't be lovely to see you naked, and not that it isn't lovely to see Olivia Coleman who's in the film naked. But at the same time, I imagine filming every day in the nude, which essentially is what because they, they're completely mm. naked, would have been I would have thought quite a chore. I mean, you know, I think it was quite warm. It was summer. But even so, you don't want to be you're the only two naked in a room, and you, everyone else is. I mean, I suppose they get used to it. I suppose they do. 
I don't think I'd care no. for it much. And as you know, I'm fant- I'm spectacular in the nude. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? It would be, you know, you'd, it's nice to hide behind clothing occasionally. Yeah, occasionally, well, mostly, I they're, think. They're allowed the odd hat, I think, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> they're allowed a, Strategically play scarf. Yeah. I was a bit surprised, though, to see the, the huge, the quantity of nudity, because it's a 15. And, and like most mm. people, I, I take certification with a pinch of salt. I make my mm. own mind up, you know. So I smuggled all three of my children, the youngest being nine. <laughs> yeah. So I broke the law right there. And we're sitting there, and uh, it's, it's um, uh, Robert Webb from, uh, you know, from Peep Show and the Mitchell and Webb look. Uh, and you see his nether regions far more than I would have cared to. Mm. Certainly far more than my nine-year-old daughter would have cared to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose I, I didn't really look after a while. I was just kind of, I was just very engaged in his hilarious performance. Yeah, well, no man really wants to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> after a while, I just found you funny. <laughs> He'll be delighted, that's the response. Uh, and the other couple, of course, it's, uh, is it Stephen Mangan and who's the, uh, the um, actress? Meredith M- Neil, Meredith. Okay, well, they're yeah. very good together, and they had the kind of strange tennis wedding. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, how much of the film was improv and how much was um, uh, scripted? Because I get the feeling that a lot of it was improvisational. The structure was um, the structure was sort of all basically sort of devised over a, a period of years. You know, m- most of it's Debbie's idea, but there's also kind of an early collaboration. Me and Debbie um, had some chats about my character when I came on board, which was quite early on. Um, but on the day, everything was improvised. Um, we would be kind of taken to a location, um, and basically we would just improvise all day for wow. six, that, six, that, or six that, or seven hours. I would have thought that's quite tiring. Though, isn't it? Well, uh, if you love it, no, not at all. I mean, you yeah. could just keep going on and on, and I was definitely could have just kept going on and on right. because I just loved doing it. You know, I loved it. Could have just gone on and on. I suppose easy is uh, you, you can be lazy. You don't have to learn lines and stuff. So it's quite yeah. nice than that before. N- yeah, exactly. You just turn up. You just rock up. Yeah. And uh, and just kind Start of go falling, on to set. falling yeah. around and hoping they make something of it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and you're working opposite Martin Freeman now. Before the news, and we had to get the news. We were running a bit like that's why I interrupted you quite rudely. But you were saying that he found you quite irritating. I think so. Yeah. I think I can be actually after. A while. Don't say that. You know, I, you shouldn't say that about yourself. You say that you're kind of like sending out the wrong message because now we're all thinking, yes, you probably is. Right? No, well, he's the one who's got the problem. Yeah, if he's, he's finding got, you he's, irritating. He's got the one. That, he's grumpy. No, we had we had great fun. We we had a lot of a lot of fun. It was really good. And he doesn't appear nude in the film, does he? No, he doesn't. No, no, which, he doesn't. So there's a blessing already. So you've got um, <laughs> and there's a gay couple in it who are the kind of wedding planners. And I thought they were very lovely and funny and quite charming as well. And that's a that's a nice storyline. That I felt that well. that was a very warm relationship as well. It, I found it very kind of um, believable. I thought their little love story was almost the most poignant um, of all of them. Well, and I'll they take, were great characters as well. I'm going to take this home and watch it without the children in the room this time. <laughs> I, 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 I'll let my wife see it and see how long it takes for her to just realise that Robert Webby's a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stop looking south. Um, that, that, I do find I would find that hard though, I think. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard being funny as a comedian sometimes anyway, I'm sure. Uh, but then to have to do it in the nude mm. must be, you know, yeah. and think, are they laughing with me or at me? I don't know. I think the I think the fact that they're naked is kind of is kind of is kind of funny in itself, I suppose. But it's not the way they're naked that's yeah. funny. I mean, and, no. and I suppose they're so brazen about it that, um, that, it, that, that they, they do it with such confidence that it kind of works. I think. In a way, it's a bonus for any movie, of course. In a way, it is. Are you uh, of the same character? Do I think? As a, me? A, do I think nudity is good? Well, yes, number one. But two, <laughs> can you relax in a film if people keep their clothes on all the way through it? Can I relax if <laughs> yeah. they keep their clothes on? Well, can you can you watch a movie and enjoy it if no one gets naked as much as a film where even if it's completely arbitrary, there's a degree of nudity? I find I find kissing much more embarrassing than just nudity. Really passionate kissing in yeah, close up. I, I feel with very. I get yeah. I feel uncomfortable. I hate that sort of thing. I saw a film with Angelina Jolie and Antonio Banderas in once mm. where and it was meant to be all passionate. And before they kissed, she spat in his mouth. I thought, Come for on. heaven's sake, there's no need for that sort of business. <laughs> oh, Spoiled was it actually little... a phlegm? Was it like a mucusy? No, no, kind he didn't hawk it. Like, like a kind of greenie. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't hawk it up from the top of the nose. No, it was no. It erotic. It was like, well, bit uh, of a spit. Well, you and Andy get together and we'll rehearse this now. No, <laughs> he was, and he went, he went, oh, no. And she, no, I think she, and she went, Puh. and well, why would you do that? If someone did that, you get off. <laughs> get out. <laughs> but they did that, and then the rest of the movie, I sat there quite angry mm. yeah. and quite hot, sweating, thinking, why did they do that? <laughs> And it detracted. Like then. an angry old colonel. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to write a letter to someone about that in the morning. <laughs> um, but it is that, that's, but in a way, that's because that's intimacy. Yes. Isn't it? As opposed to yeah, just I mean, the vicarious it's, it's, film I mean, to, to, to totally go completely in another direction, something like um, uh, Brokeback Mountain, yeah. you know, that, I think that's always what pe- people felt more upset. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> people felt more upset about the intimacy Can I just and, say, and, the, and the reality of that relationship rather than the Men don't like that film, OK? Real men don't like that film. <laughs> 
I don't think that's true. <laughs> because it it's not right. <laughs> Is it because they're in love, you see? Yes, we don't yeah. want to see men in love for years and years. <laughs> Andy and I have a relationship. <laughs> yeah. But it's Someone... based largely on hostility and antipathy. <laughs> and there's a desk between us. And we might go camping and spoon a little bit. <laughs> All right, but that's as far as it's going. <laughs> It's a perfectly lovely film. But intimacy is sometimes difficult to watch, unless mm. it really feels genuine, I suppose, in a movie. Mm. As a performer, though, is it harder to do something in which you have to be in love with someone, you have to be genuinely connected, or, or, or is it um, in some way easier if you've actually developed the characters properly? It's much easier if you develop the characters properly because then it just happens naturally. You know, I mean, if you have to force anything, then it's always going to be much more awkward. But if you actually know kind of... You know, if you've got some sort of sense of who your character is and what's going on, then then it then it comes much much more naturally. But I always think it must be strange because you normally shoot out of sync, don't you? Shoot out of uh, there's the continuity isn't the kind of um, chronological order of events that we yeah. see in the movie. So you know you're doing the big so, say okay say we're in a love scene together. Okay? Yeah. You f- understand? It's clearly <laughs> obvious in the film you would fall for me from the beginning. <laughs> right? it's, a, it's a rom-com, Jess. Right? I'm a high-flying executive, very serious, quite intense, pursued by everyone, but I've only ever focused on my career. Okay, mm. you're a giddy. 30 something Bridget Jones failure, right? Okay. Well, with big pants. Yeah, plump, a little bit past it, right? Being dumped any number of times by boyfriends, uh. right? Now, we know that's going to happen. There's going to be magic yeah. by the end of the movie. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's fireworks. Okay. And we know by the end of the movie we will have fallen in love over those 90 minutes. That's fine. But we have to shoot the mm. big um, uh, sort of doggy style scene mm. that ends the movie, <laughs> right? On the first day. Now, is that easy to do as performers? Um. Yes. Yes is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, out of sync. Is it is it is it easier if you've actually done the scenes? I think you have to do more homework if you if you're going to film out of sync. <laughs> and I think if you do your homework, that then 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 it's it isn't it's not a problem. But it is it does require a little more effort from the actors. A bit more thought to get yourself. A in that bit place. more thought and a bit more homework. A bit do more you, preparation. Do you mark up the script with kind of like little keywords as to where you are emotionally and where? Yes, you are? yes, yeah. And so you know kind of where you are. You know. Um, you know, sort of, if you're kind of building a sort of, you know, um, a, a journey, or whatever, then you know where you are. What mark do you put on the script? Is it like a little heart with a smiley face <laughs> yeah, in it for a love scene? Like that. <laughs> it's notes. It's notations. <laughs> a little heart. If it's an angry scene, an axe. Yeah. By the side of it. <laughs> mm. Mm. If it's a lovey-dovey scene, a cushion. Yeah. Yeah, okay, mm. I think we've established it. <laughs> Acting masterclass is closed for the day. You, you've done this before, haven't you? Well, I've, I've, you know, I, I, I have an innate understanding yeah. of actors because, let's face it, they're simple beasts. <laughs> But you are really actors and performers. All you really need is a bit of stroking, isn't it? Yeah. And when an actor says that money, you go, "You're great." They go, "Okay." And yeah. They do a good performance. You're if so you turn right. up and you ignore them first thing, they're in a the mood all day. Think, yeah. "What have I done?" Yeah. You go when they come in, you go, "How are you?" By the way, you were fantastic. It's quite listening. hard for your family because it's like that at home as well. Is it really? Yeah. I have to kind of get a little compliment before I start the day, <laughs> which is, is it, really. <laughs> is it so very hard? <laughs> hey, by the way, last night. <laughs> While you were watching TV, you were great. <laughs> that, that TV watching you did was great. And then, yeah, I go, oh, thanks, yeah. really. I didn't. Yeah. Was it was it really working? Yeah, but it was great. Are well you done. aware when people are just flattering you fake? Does it still work if if it's a false and interfere? I have no radar for that. If you give me a compliment, I'll believe it. I don't. I, you know, I don't have any radar. So as long for as fakeness. it's nice words coming out of their mouth, I believe you. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know what? I think that's a simple-minded but perfect way to go through life. <laughs> Why bother troubling yourself otherwise? Mm. Uh, what are we going to put on, Annie? It's a new track from a band called The Young Knives. I've never heard of them. I, I love it. Yes, I especially love the tusk. That's a quote there from a look around you. Um, uh, I love it. That's great. It, sounded, it reminded me of. You remember the band Pear Ubu? Yes, it does. Pear, Pear, you remember Pear I Ubu? I don't know Pear Ubu. I really want to know Pear Ubu. Oh, I, I recommend Dub Housing as their <laughs> seminal album. Right, I'm just write that down. Dub <laughs> Housing. Dub uh, Housing. Confetti, the DVD starring among others the uh, charming and funny Jessica Stevenson, is out right now. You see that was you see, see her start smiling yeah. when we started being nice yeah, about yeah. it immediately. There was that flat we came out. Uh, and her hair is lovely. It's all oh. natural. It's all her own. Yeah. <laughs> She's brushed it and everything. Uh, it's also got in it, uh, Robert Webb from uh, Mitchell and Webb, uh, Olivia Coleman, who you recognise from Peep Show and any number of other things, Martin Freeman, of course, Stephen Mangan. Is that how you say his name? Mangan. And the other lady was, what was her name again? Meredith. She Meredith. was very nice then as well. Uh, and two gay blokes. But they're not, they're <laughs> actors, pretend to be gay blokes. Or are yeah. they gay blokes? Um, Vincent and Jason. Yeah, OK. But are they really gay or are they acting gay? No, they're not gay. Neither no, of them are gay. Don't say it like there's something wrong with being gay. <laughs> I'm not saying it like <laughs> that. Do you hear what she just said? I she was implying there's something wrong with no, it. No, she didn't. No, they're, not, they're both very straight. Oh. 
Well, they do a very convincing uh, Brokeback impersonation. They're the best. Impersonation. They're the best. <laughs> they're very good in it. Uh, lovely to see you again. What are you doing next? What's lined up for you next? Um, I'm hoping you're busy. I'm doing some... I'm sort of d- developing some things. I've written something. I've just finished a couple of films right, as well. Wow. Finished filming Magicians with Mitchell and... Now, I've heard of this. This is, sounds, sounds great, this. Uh, <laughs> it's written by the people who wrote Peep Show. Sam and Jesse, yeah. Right. All right. Uh, well, we shouldn't really talk about it yet. Yeah, yeah, okay. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to that very much. And then indeed. Son of Rambo, which is the same guys who did. Um... Son of Rambo. Yeah. Which that, is... that was a film waiting to be made. Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> brilliant. It's the same guys who did um, He Took His Guide to the Gal- Galaxy. Uh, okay, and finally, when are you and Simon going to do either something together, Simon? When Pegg, he rings me back. Some more or something. Yes. Like he's lost too much weight, by the way. Have you noticed it? Oh, God. Yeah, he's lost too much weight. He's gone it's all Hollywood. He's going to the gym. Yeah, he's going to the gym because he wants to be a Hollywood star. Stop losing weight, Peg. You look ill. <laughs> oh, God. He looked ill when I saw him. Don't I worry now. I worry I about, about him. Mm. I thought you had that. He's doing a film. He's doing a film now with Dandy Newton, directed by David Schwimmer. Well, the two of them, you turn sideways, you won't see them. <laughs> it's not two of the thinnest thing. people in the world. It doesn't make you funnier. Maybe it's no. a film in which there isn't much money for the catering. I thought, you know what? We need a couple of really thin. No, he's actors. playing a marathon runner in it. That's why. Oh. Well, tell him to put on some weight. You can have a chubby marathon runner. Of course runner. you can. Yeah. Back in the seventies, marathon runners were quite big, weren't they? Of course they were. Yeah, well, there you go. You know. <laughs> I love the way Jessica just agrees. We're, we're <laughs> talking rubbish. Of course. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine there's ever a row at home. Uh, Jessica, lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for coming back in. Uh, Confetti is out now on DVD. Yes. It's a funny film. There's some tremendous performances in it. Get yourself a copy this weekend if you can. And uh, look for Jessica in Magicians when it comes out. That's going to be great, I think. I'm really looking forward to it. Lovely to see you again. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you very much. Okay.